Cranky Bugs, based off the television series by Britt Allcroft and David Midden, adapted by NWR Fan 08 and Rosie Fan 37 NWR. It was springtime on the Northwestern Railway. The engines were working hard. The Fat Controller was rebuilding a old dockyard on Edwards Branch Line. The engines will rust off their wheels. So the Fat Controller decided to have Bill and Ben, the Tank Engine Twins, that worked on Edwards Line at the Clay Pits. At first, the twins behaved themselves. Until one day, the Fat Controller bought a crane from the other railway. The crane was called Crane, and he was very rude. Cranky's first day, he was causing trouble. You useless little bugs, said Cranky. Say, if you hurry up and get trucks here, so when I load them, it won't take so long. Rubbish, said Ben. We always arrange our trucks like this anyways, said Bill. No crane has ever complained before. Well, I'm complaining now. And Cranky banged his load onto the quayside. Stop fussing around, you two, said Douglas, as he passed boy with his good spring. But it wasn't our fault, said the twins, together. That afternoon, Bill and Ben took some trucks to Napford. They saw Gordon and James. They told them about Cranky. Cranes are very, very tall things, said Gordon. They need lots and lots of attention, like me, in fact. The twins were confused. Just look at Cranky stationed up there, coped with wind, bacon, sun, and then he looks down and sees you two little engines being very annoying. No wonder he calls you bugs and the two big engines puffed away. For the rest of the week, Cranky caused trouble and blamed it on the twins. When something went wrong, he would tell the other engines, and the other engines would believe him. One day, Bill was shunting some empty trucks for Cranky. Cranky was still being cranky. Come on, come on, those trucks won't load themselves. Don't rush me, said Bill, and pushed the trucks too far, and the load dropped all over Bill. Edward was passing by of some trucks, and saw the mess. What happened? asked Edward. It's Ben, said Cranky, causing trouble. I'm sorry to say Edward believed Cranky. Thanks for telling me, Cranky. He told Boko what the twins did. So when Boko saw the Fat Controller, he told him about what Bill and Ben did. I'm sorry to say next time the Fat Controller saw the twins, he wasn't really happy with both of them. Bill and Ben are most displeased with you. I've been here and you've been giving Cranky a hard time. I will send you to your sheds at the clay pits for the meantime until I can trust you to behave, both of you. The twins scampered off. I'm sorry to say that night bad weather occurred. The docks was worser than ever. Cranky and Donald and Douglas and Boko and Edward were trapped at the docks. Douglas said, Oi, Laxie, it was sort of be safe in this shed. I'm sorry to say he was wrong. Cranky and the engines were about to put in great, great, great danger by an old tram steamer. It was out of control and headed straight towards the sheds. The wind blew Cranky right to the ground. <laughs> Next, toppled onto the ground. Help! Called the engines from inside the sheds. I can't! Called Frankie. As soon as it stopped thundering, the fat controller was eating in his office when he got a call from the docks manager. Mm hmm. A storm? Okay. Uh, I'll be there right away. Um, uh, um, well, ask Bill and Ben to help Cranky. Okay, I'm gonna go. Get me my car now. Alright, bye. And he hanged up the telephone. Mm -mm -mm. This is a huge mess. Said the fat controller. Uh, sir, please tell Bill and Ben I'm sorry I was, um, bugging them. So it was you! When Bill and Ben arrived, they soon lifted Cranky back up again. And he was soon clearing the wreckage. The engines were happy they could see again. 
Um, but I had to be rescued first, said Cranky. But I never thought it'd be a couple of, uh, bu bugs, termites, what whatever. What, he's back to boogie us, said Ben. What, what, what? Uh, 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 you still attached to Cranky. The docks was soon restored. Ever since that stormy night, Cranky never calls Bill and Ben bugs because he's afraid the twins might bite back.